Welcome to Innova World. Hey guys, once again welcome back to my channel. Today we will see a problem based on unsymmetrical bending. So come to the first question. A Z section with 12 cm cross 3 cm flanges and 20 cm cross 3 cm wave is subjected to movement mx equals to 10 kN meter and my equals to 10 kN meter determine the maximum bending stress so from here we can draw the figure as appeared in your screen that is the flanges is 12 cm cross 3 cm and the wave cross of 20 cross 3 cm and the moment is 10 mx and my so now first of all the we will split the sections in section 1 2 and 3 after splitting the sections we will write form a table in the table we will write display for each elements what is a breadth what is a depth and what is the area and centroid for each elements so first let's see the first element first element is this one what is the breadth 12 cross 3 and area 12 into 3 we got 36 now what is the centroid for this element we have to take a reference point from here this from here to here that is total is 12 so the midpoint will be 12 by 2 so 6 and what is y y will be from here this distance to the midpoint of this so from here to here is your 20 plus 3 23 plus 1.5 so you get as 24.5 comes to the 2 we have the d is b is 3 and the d is 20 so area comes b into d 60 what is x bar x bar will be from this reference point to this point will be your x bar so from here to here is your 9 9 plus 1.5 so you get as 10.5 and what is y here to this midpoint so how will you get this midpoint your total half is 10 this will from here to here will be a 10 then 10 plus 3 will get 13 and the third element is this one so you have a b as 12 and d as 3 and the area is 36 centimeter square and when you find this x bar you have to find from this from this re end point reference this point to this point so your half of this 12 centimeter is 6 and from here to this distance is 9 so 9 plus 6 you get as 15 and y is from here to here half of it is 1.5 now recalling the formula of a centroid for x bar of an entire section so this is a formula as displayed in your screen you have the individual formula from the table apply the formula and you get that x bar is 10.5 centimeter similarly y bar you have a formula like this when you substitute the values we get as y bar equals to 13 centimeter now to find a moment of inertia that is ixx iyy and product moment of inertia that is ixy now recalling the formula for ixx for three different sections and uh, we know the b1 d1 q by 12 plus a1 using this formula we are substituting the formula in this above equation we get as ixx equals to 11576 centimeter power 4 now what is iyy this is the formula in of iyy now substituting the values of iyy we get as iyy equals to 2367 centimeter power 4 similarly ixy this is a formula substituting the values respective value we get as minus 3726 centimeter power 4 
now in the question they have asked to find the bending stress so recalling the k method formula that is sigma b equals to y mx i y y plus m y i x y minus x m x i x y plus m y i x x by i x x i y y minus i squared x y now we know all the values we know the value of m x i y x y and i x x now substituting the value we get as sigma b equals to minus 100.67 of y and minus 581.48 of x now what is the next question is what is x and y this x and y will be the coordinates now consider the centroid as shown here the centroid will be your origin that is 0 0 that means the distance from this point to this point will be your 13 and from here to here will be your 10.5 distance so if you are going in the left hand side on the x will be negative if you are going in the right hand side of x will be positive if you are going upward the y value will be positive and if you are going downward the y value will be negative now using this nature we are going to find the coordinates of a b c d e and f the mere major six points we are going to find using the table i have found this x and y value of each coordinate and substituting for each coordinate i have applied the bending stress in this general equation and we got the is subsequent values here i will tell you we have six points in this six points how we have obtained this x and y value now here this is a zero zero coordinate i said if you're going to the if you're going to right hand side you will get a positive value if you go to left hand side you will get a negative of x now we have the a on the left hand side so how far is the distance from here to here is 10.5 it is in the left side so minus 10.5 now how much upward from here to here total distance is 26 so from here to here the distance will be 13 I have written 13 similarly now see a and b lie in the same x coordinates so minus 10.5 now how far it is decreased the y distance 3 so from the previous one just subtract the 3 or you can easily find if it is 13 and this is a 23 you can find this distance will be 10 so like how also you can find and for each coordinate value suppose x and y the sigma b will be varying for at each individual points so you you need to apply this coordinate for individual locations so applying in the point a coordinate we got, got as 4.7 into 10 power 3 newton per centimeter square similarly the b point we got as 5.1 into 10 power 3 and subsequent values are shown in the data in the table and as per the given question they asked to find the maximum bending stress so from here we can obtain the maximum bending stress at the point b where we have the 5.1 into 10 power 3 and which is in tensile in nature and uh, that is uh, our answer point b is our answer i hope this session was very useful for you guys if you have further inquiry drop down to my email to 9489224114ash at gmail.com subscribe to my channel for more updates and stay blessed take care